Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Repair Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today I received a question from my first ever donor, EJV. She says, I was watching one of your tutorials where you show key snap. It's good, but in Ableton you can set a scale and it makes the wrong notes right. Do you know what I mean? Is there something like that in Reaper other than VST and hopefully free? So the answer is yes, I think I do know what you mean. And yes, you can do it in Reaper. So Ableton has this MIDI effect called scale. You put it on any MIDI track and you set a scale. And then as you play your MIDI controller, if you play any wrong notes, that wrong note is turned to a correct note. So if you're playing in C major and you play a black key, that black key would be played from the nearest white key. And that way you can play over backing tracks or jamming keys that you're not really fluent in. And every keyboard player has those keys, whether they know music theory or not. My music theory knowledge is solid, but I can play better in C minor than B minor because in B minor, there's a bunch of black keys in kind of awkward places. So anyway, that is doable in Reaper. And all you gotta do is, for example, I got this piano track right here. I can right click on the track, go MIDI track, Track controls and show MIDI track control panel. And it will essentially put what is a plugin on our effects chain at the very beginning. And real control MIDI does a lot of things, but one of the things it does is that it can transpose incoming notes and it can snap them to scale. So for example, I can just come here and transpose minus one semitones. And now I can just play in C minor as I normally do, and it will play B minor for me. And if we go and look at our MIDI track, you can see that I played in C minor, but what we heard was B minor. Just to show you, I'm gonna play the track and then I'm gonna turn this off in the middle. And now with this off, You can also then snap it to any scale. So, you know, obviously C major is an easy scale to play, but you can, you can put this in E major or something. And now if I start playing, And as you can see up there, I'm playing notes in sequence and I'm playing some wrong notes, for example, this F, but we're hearing only the correct notes. Every note that's outside of the key, it will be snapped to the note before it. Now, one thing you may want to do is to record what you're hearing rather than what you're playing. In the first example, I played in C minor and my MIDI item is now written in C minor, but I may want it to be written in B minor. And the fix for that is very easy. You just right click here and instead of having it record input, you can go and record output in MIDI. Well, this file has already been recorded, though we can use the key snap feature, which I covered in the video. Watch that video. If you haven't, a thing should pop up right about now. But if I now go and one more time play something in C minor, you'll see what happens. Something like that. And now as we can see, it played it from B and I can do this live to any kind of backing track. I can jam with my friends and pretend like I'm good at keyboard when I'm not. Now here's a hack if you want to only play white keys. So as we said, if you want to just play in C major, that's pretty easy because it's all the white keys. But what if we want to always play all the white keys regardless of what key? Well, there's a slight problem with that. In Rhea Control MIDI, transpose comes before snap to scale. So when I have this setup right here, whatever I play, First, it'll be transposed down one semitone, and then the snap to scale feature would check if that note is within the scale, and if it's not, it will transpose it one more time, essentially. So a way to get around that is to set this to zero, and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it on the same track, and then set snap to scale off in this one, and then this one I can transpose to whatever I want. So this one makes sure that I'm just playing all the white keys and I'm playing a key in major, and then if I want to play, for example, in the key of G, then I can come and transpose this down minus five semitones. So even if you know zero music theory, all you gotta know is how many semitones is a note apart from C. And if you wanna play in the key of E major, you make that plus four. A flat major, you make that minus four and so on and so forth. If you wanna play in minor, you can learn the relative minors or you can come and set this to A minor. And A minor is the scale with all the white keys. So then essentially, if I have this set up right now, it'll play from E minor, which is five semitones below A minor. And last thing is by default, there's not a lot of scales and keys available in Reaper. So there's these chords and there's these scales. However, you can go to the forums and I will put this link in the description as well. This wonderful user called Zappa Dave has created literally hundreds of scales that you can just download and load into your Reaper. You copy the file from your downloads. You come here, you go to options, show Reaper resource path in explorer slash finder. You go to data and then you can paste the file that you downloaded off the forums here. And then all you gotta do is come back here, go load. It'll automatically open this exact folder. And now I have literally hundreds of scales to choose from. Go and 
explore these. It's really fun. It may not look as sexy as the scale media effect in Ableton, but that thing's kind of confusing with the grids. I don't like it. So that's it for today. If you like the work I do, donate to me. And uh, otherwise, you know, whatever. Enjoy these videos and I'll see you later. Bye.